Hey what's going on guys, in this video we will look at how to build your own very simple discord bot. If you end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Now let's get started. First of all you will need a discord account and a server to run your bot. Once that's done, you can head to discord.com slash developer slash applications. This is where you set up your discord bot. Now click on new application and name your bot. In my case I'll just name it my bot and then hit create. Once that's done you can go to bot section and click on add bot and confirm. Our discord bot is created. You will also find a token of your bot. This token will be very important later. Now to program our bot, we'll go to Replet. Replet is an online IDE that requires no installation and you can basically write programs from the browser. Now go to my repels and create a new repel. Choose Python as your language and name anything. I will just name it this bot. Click on create rebel. And select it. Wait for it. And we are good to go. Now we can start to program. Let's import the discord library. After that's done we'll make an instance of client. This is a part of discord library. We need a client.event decorator. The discord.py is an asynchronous library which means a callback function is called when something happens. So we'll be working with events. Now you can type async dev on ready. This event will be called when our bot is ready. So you can simply print something on the console when this is called. I'll just use logged in as discord client using format. Now we're gonna create another event. So this event will be called when someone messages. So we can do the same thing but this time it will be on message function. And no you cannot change the function's name. So now when we get a message we will check if it's from the bot itself. So type if message.author equals client.user we will simply return oh and our function requires a message argument now we will see if the message is hello we want to reply with hi to do that write await message.channel.send hi so this will send hi to the channel. Now let's run our bot. For that type client.run and we have to pass in the token we talked about earlier. So go back to the developer portal and copy the token. Now we can either paste it there directly but since this is a public REPL we do not want to expose it. So you have to go to secrets tab and create a new environment variable. I'll just name it token and in the value just paste your token. Now we have to import a new library OS And we can access our token by writing os.getenv and passing the name of our variable. Now we can run the code. It will automatically install all the dependencies imported.
Once it's done, we have to add the bot to our server. Head back to the developer portal. To add our bot, the syntax for the link will be discord.com slash oauth 2 slash authorize client id equals your client id and scope equals bot. So copy your client id and paste it in there. So from here we can add our bot to the server. Choose your server and authorize. Now the bot is added to our server. To try it out, type hello and the bot replies with hi. You can further customize the code the way you like, but this is a general structure of building a discord bot. I will try to make this bot more useful by utilizing the exact same code I made during the previous video of weather API. So if you haven't watched it already, watch it. So first I will import request and json library. Then I'll make a URL variable and add the link of the weather API. While making a city variable for our city name. I'll go on and wrap this around get weather function. And pass in city as an argument. Now we'll get the response and save it in a data variable as JSON format. Now we will get all the types of data such as temperature, humidity, etc. from that data. And save it inside weather in a well formatted structure so we can print it later. Then of course we have to return our weather. So if we call get weather function with a city name, we get the weather of that city. Finally what I will do is if weather.content starts with dollar weather, I will create a word list and split every word. We will save every single word after weather in city. And finally, if we can call our function with a city name and send it to the channel. Now we can restart our program. And the bot no longer replies to hello. But if you write dollar weather followed by a city name, the bot will reply with its weather. Once again, every link including the previous video on weather API will be in the description. If you want a sequel for Discord bot, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.